Hey, what's up, guys? You're watching Tech Theory, and in this video, let's talk about the iOS 11.3 update on iPhones. So let's get started. So Apple has finally rolled out the iOS 11.3 update to all the users around the world, and you can update by going to General and going to Software Update. In this video, let's talk about all the major changes. I will only talk about major changes in this video. If you want to know more about the changes, uh, the info is in the description below. Check out the description for more. So the first thing which is major is the battery improvements. So the battery options get a new option which is battery health option which is in beta. Apple calls it is in beta but it is quite stable and you get the maximum capacity of the battery and also the performance uh, of your processor which your battery is uh, the power which your battery is giving to the processor and can it handle a good performance or uh, you should service your battery. So uh, I am getting peak performance capability because my battery is uh, uh, sort of new. So the next uh, change you get is the Animojis in iPhone, iPhone 10. The Animojis has been upgraded. You get more Animojis. And also another change is you get iCloud messages uh, which is you can sync your messages into iCloud. And you can uh, it is good for if you want to upgrade your iPhone. You can get your messages of your older iPhones on your newer iPhone. So this is a welcome change and also you get performance boost you get awesome performance on 11.3 uh, it is also better as compared to 10.3.3 uh, which is a good move by apple and all the users were fed up of the bad performance on ios 11.2 11.1 and also other versions so this has been uh, okay ios 11.3 has given a performance boost on older iphones and as well as newer iphones the iphone 10 has been performing quite well uh, in 11.3 so there are uh, these are the major changes there are also other changes actually I am showing you in the, this uh, in a beta stage so there may be new changes I will list, list it in the description so it is actually I am running the uh, GM version probably because Apple has uh, not released a new beta since uh, uh, two weeks so this is a GM version according to me so there are no major changes all the changes are listed in the description so check out so the main question people are asking me that should you upgrade yes you should definitely upgrade if you are there on 11.1 11.2 and other versions if you are on ios 9 i won't recommend you to upgrade because you are waiting for some something better than uh, this uh, ios 11, 9 was the best ios and 11 is no, nothing in front of 9 so if you are on uh, 10.3.3 or 11.1 or 11.2 then you should definitely upgrade it is a good upgrade so do upgrade uh, all you have to do is go to general and go to software update and you will get an update uh, you need to scan it so guys that's pretty much so sorry for the inconvenience due to the background and as well as video actually uh, I'm building a new st new studio for YouTube purpose so uh, the work is going on so I'm sorry for the inconvenience and uh, in future you will uh, see more dope videos as I am building a new studio. So let me know in the comments uh, what are your th thoughts about this video and also 11.3 and I will make some more videos on 11.3 so that you get a more deep look into the software and it will be it will make your mind clear regarding the upgrade. So that is pretty much guys thanks for watching and please subscribe uh, the videos would be in awesome quality in the future. So once again sorry and please subscribe it will be helpful for me and you will also get uh, updated uh, to iOS world and it will be upgrade it will be helpful for me so that's pretty much guys thanks for watching peace